guys, it's Miss Hannah. And Lauren. And today we're going to celebrate you guys graduating from our class. Woo! Good job, guys. Yay! You have all learned so much about Jesus and the Bible. That's right. You guys are so smart. You've got those smarticle particles. Oh, yes. Well, today we're going to tell our last Bible story to you guys. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what's that, Paul? You want to say hi one more time? Okay. We'll say hi. Hey, Palms. Hi. Hey, Palms. Oh, what's this, Palms? Oh, yeah? Mmm. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, Palms wants us to tell you a story about friends who had to say goodbye in the Bible, too. All right. It's the story of David and Jonathan. Mm -hmm. I like this story. I do too. All right, so in the Bible, there were two friends named David and Jonathan. Remember how last week we talked about David and Goliath? Uh -huh. Now David was a young boy, but he killed Goliath with his slingshot, ready? Throw! Good job. Yeah. Well, this is the same David. And see, Jonathan, his friend, was the son of King Saul. And Saul was the king of Israel. Yes. Yeah. See, Saul was really jealous. Oh. He was, whenever he saw David, he'd get really, really angry. Yeah, because David was popular with the Israelites because he had killed Goliath. Yeah. Yeah. And Saul wasn't exactly popular. Yeah. Like David was. Hmm. Yeah, and so, but Jonathan didn't believe David when David told Jonathan that Saul wanted to kill him. Oh. Yeah, Saul wanted to hurt him really bad. Oh, my. And so, Jonathan and David came up with a plan. They used their smart particles. Oh. Yeah. David told Jonathan that he was going to hide in the field for three days. Three days. All right, let's count to three, ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Good, Good job. job. And so David told Jonathan that he needed to tell Saul that David went back to see his family for a party. Oh. Yeah, so he would be at Saul's place. Mm. Yeah. And he said if. Jonathan, if Saul gets really, really mad at you because I'm not there, then you'll know he wants to hurt me. Yeah. And we'll come up with a code word. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And the code word was that Jonathan would use his bow and arrow, and he would shoot three arrows into David's field. He said... So, if you tell them, if I tell you that the arrows are right ahead of you, then you'll know that um, that all is not okay, that Saul wants to hurt you. But if I tell you that all is well, then you'll know that you're okay and you can come back. Mm. And so they did as they planned. Yes. Jonathan went back to the palace and told his father, Saul, that David was spending time with his family. Mm. You know what happened? He got really mad. He got really, really angry. He threw Ooh. a temper tantrum. Oh, yeah. He threw a temper tantrum. And so Jonathan knew that he wanted to hurt David. Mm -hmm. And so he went to the field Yeah. and brought a boy with him, and he shot three arrows into Ooh. the field and told the boy that they, the arrows are right ahead of you. Mm. And so David knew that he was in trouble. Oh. And that they had, that David had to go away for a while and hide. Yeah. And so after the boy left, Jonathan and David gave each other a big hug. So pretend to give him a big hug. Ooh. Big hug. <sighs> And they said goodbye. Yeah, so that's the story in the Bible. 
Oh. Yeah. So sometimes as friends, we have to say goodbye. All right. But we still remember and still love each other. Isn't that yes. right, Miss Lauren? That's right. And yes. we're so proud of you guys that you get to go to the three-year-old class. Woohoo! Oh, you guys are going to be such big boys and girls. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's count to three one more time. One. one. 